fairy, and I've brought my fun box today. Let's see what's inside. <gasps> a fun book. How to catch a turkey. And you know what? I'll bet after we finish this, we might even make a turkey craft. Let's start. How to Catch a Turkey by Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton. Here we are on Thanksgiving Day. That's a special time of year. Yes, I know, I'm a turkey. That much should be clear. So gather round, I have a tale, and it's really quite a story. What I tell you now is not a joke. It is my crowning glory. It all began one year ago. I was at a school, you see. Play preparations were underway, but that didn't matter to me. Some kids walked by in silly clothes, talking about the play. We'll even have a turkey on stage. It's perfect for Thanksgiving Day. Turkey, stage, no way, no how. Had I really heard that right? I broke out of my pen and ran away with a case of bad stage fright. I burst into the science room, knocked over flasks and beakers, and the cry of, Catch that turkey! boomed over the loudspeakers. Now, more children join the chase with catapults and food, but their goopy mashed potatoes weren't enough to keep me glued. Up next, there was a maze of books that stretched from wall to wall. With a big hop and a mighty flap, I managed to escape them all. Where do you think they were? The library, maybe? I think so. I ducked past chairs and bags and desks. Now that was quite a trick. The kids thought they could stop me here, but I was much too quick. I ran outside to the jungle gym, thinking I could hide, but the recess yard was all tricked out. I'd have better luck inside. Finally, the kids gave up, but the principal gave chase. My only hope of escaping her was keeping up my pace. I slid into the coach's room and crashed into a chair. I got tangled up in jerseys, but I won't get stuck in there. I ran into a curtain. There was nowhere else to go. I couldn't get past the principal, but the curtain led to the show. My heart was racing. I started to sweat. I couldn't squawk or run. I 
I took a deep breath. I can do this. Who knows? It might be fun. A kid stood up and pointed. Oh my gosh! He's so cute! He really is, a parent agreed, in his little mascot suit. I started to smile and even dance, while the crowd continued to cheer. I was filled with joy that I took the chance, and that started my mascot career. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving day. Let's make something to put on your Thanksgiving table. How about a pine cone turkey? You'll need a pine cone, and it doesn't matter what size. You'll need some construction paper, and I might suggest red or yellow or orange, green for the turkey feathers, but any color will do that you have on hand. Some brown construction paper for a head, yellow and red construction paper for the beak and turkey waddle. If you have wiggle eyes, you'll need two, but if you don't, that's okay, you can draw them on. You'll need some scissors and glue, and then again, you'll need either a medium or large pine cone. These are mine. As you can see, he's kind of small, but that's okay. We'll set him right there. So first, you can draw a turkey head and then cut that out like this, okay? You'll see I've used small pieces of construction paper today. Don't throw anything away. Put it in your fun box. Then you can have lots of different sizes to choose from. Everything we're using today really takes a very small piece of construction paper. So again, trace and cut out a head and then we're going to work on this one first we're going to put on some wiggle eyes if you have them and mine are already glued but if not I'd have put two little drops of glue so let's add those we'll put a little eye here and another one right beside it Mine even have some silly eyelashes. Okay, once we've done that, then we want to cut out a little squiggly red piece. This is going to be the turkey waddle. I'll bring my book back. If you see right here, a turkey has a waddle. And when he shakes his head, it wobble, wobble, wobbles, just like he does. So trace and cut out a little waddle, and we're going to add some glue. Doesn't take any kind of special glue today. Just takes one you can get open. I'm going to take the top off. It seems like it's stuck. We're just going to use the glue top, and we're going to add a little glue to the waddle, and we're going to kind of put that in the middle of his face. Then we're going to take a piece of yellow construction paper and look how small this piece is. And we're going to cut a little triangle. I drew a little triangle and cut one out. So we're going to add another little drop of glue onto the beak. That's what this is. You could do this in orange if you didn't have yellow. And we're going to paste it right over top of the waddle. So let's put that on the white paper so you can see better. Alright, then the other colors that I suggested, the red, the green, the pink, whatever colors you like, I want you to trace out some feathers, and they can be different sizes. I've traced out pretty much some small ones like this. I've got some larger ones in red that I traced and cut out, and then we're just going to take those, and let's see. We're going to add those to the back of the pine cone. They'll just slide in. But if you'd like for them to stay 
add a drop of glue. Okay, so we'll do that today. We're going to add a little drop of glue right onto the end of the feather, right here, and then just put it in. Slide it in between the pine cone. Let's do a green leaf. And we'll slide that one in. And they don't have to go in in any particular order, just all different colors so your turkey is pretty and colorful for your Thanksgiving table. If you had enough pine cones, you could make one for each person at your table and they could sit beside their plate. Wouldn't that be a nice little gift of Thanksgiving to share with everybody? Let's give him a yellow feather. So again, you can cut out any color you want. They could all be the same. Maybe you like blue, maybe you like purple. Whatever color you like, because this is your turkey. Okay. All right, now that we've got our feathers on, I'm gonna bend back the very bottom of his neck. So we have a little piece that goes inside and it'll make it stand up. Oops, lost a little feather there, that's okay. We'll just stick him back in. Okay, so we're gonna add some glue to the bottom of that neck, a little bit above the bend and, and the bend itself. And then we're gonna stick that down in the pine cone so it sets up. And there you go. A very simple, easy craft for you to make. Maybe we'll set him up so you can see him a little bit better. I think that works. Okay? So, I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can enjoy more stories, crafts, activities, exercises, all kinds of fun things to do. Now, snip, snap, snout. This craft and story are out. Bye-bye.